Hello my friends. So I got a new drone. I want to go play with it. But most importantly, I want to show you my beautiful, beloved hometown boulder in all of its glory. Right now, the hills and the mountains are all green from all the springtime rains. And you got to catch this moment quickly because by mid-June and on, it's too hot and everything turns brown and yellow. I mean, it's still beautiful, but it's not green. So let's go on a little tour. All right, we're gonna start this off in North Boulder and I'm gonna ride south toward Chautauqua Park where the famous flat irons are. If you've ever seen a postcard of Boulder, that's what you're seeing, the flat irons. Sorry to interrupt the beautiful drone shots, but I wanted to show you something. This right here is the hospital where I was born on Super Bowl Sunday, 1979, January 21st. Now it's obviously not a hospital. They're probably gonna turn it into expensive condos like everything else in Boulder. Crazy to think that this is where my beautiful life started. Thank you, mom and dad. I'm liking this life. Here we go, I've lived here all my life and every time I come up here I'm still just as excited and in awe of the beauty. Here's the flat irons. So this is a very popular spot. You can see all the cars lined up there and lined up there. And that's not even the main parking lot. The main parking lot is in there. Also, it's a Friday morning. Does anybody work in Boulder or are we all just YouTubers? <laughs> so these rock formations right here are called the flat irons because they look like an iron, what you would iron your clothes with and they're turned up on their side. And yes, you can climb them. I've been up there a couple times. It's pretty cool. All right, now I'm going to continue the tour up Flagstaff Mountain. I used to live up here. This is called The Hill when I was in college, and I would ride my bike up Flagstaff Mountain all the time. It was my place to get my training in. I am now at the Flagstaff Overlook. This is where you come to make out when you're in high school. I never did that because I didn't have a car or a girlfriend, <laughs> but it is beautiful. And you can see the red roofs of the University of Colorado, my alma mater. Everything is green and beautiful. And right behind me, on the, the hill behind me, that's where the Boulder Star is at Christmas time. I really enjoy coming up here, and I actually don't come up here all that often, but when I do, I really get a feeling of gratitude for where I live, and I can look out at my entire little city and think, wow, this is where I grew up, and this is where I went to school and made friends and went through all the ups and downs of life. It's all right there, and uh, I love my city. I love my boulder. I love my friends, and I love my community, and being up here just makes me really happy. I am now going to head way further south here in Boulder and ride up to a place called NCAR, which is the National Center for Atmospheric Research. And it's a really interesting looking building. It was designed by the architect I.M. Pei. He's world renowned. 
and uh, let's do it. Check it out. This is just so incredibly beautiful. I need to come to South Boulder more often. definitely one of my favorite climbs right in Boulder and it's pretty gradual it's not nearly as steep as the other mountain roads I wouldn't even call this a mountain this is more just like a little hill and it just opens up the great expanse of the foothills and the flat irons and Boulder I mean look at that ah oh, riding bikes is good for the soul Can you believe this? Can I believe that I live here? This is like a five mile ride from my house. Incredible, I love it. This is gonna be the end of my super duper green boulder drone video because all my batteries are dead. I'm gonna have to go home and charge those up. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, please check it out. I have all sorts of adventure videos by foot and by bicycle all over the planet. Like and subscribe and do all that other stuff that you're supposed to do on YouTube and we will see you down the road. Okay, so I know I'm probably gonna get some flack for this from people saying, you can't fly a drone over open space. Here's the rules that I understand. You can't take off or land in open space. So I'm over here outside of open space. Also, I'm flying it very high so as not to bug anybody or get close or annoy hikers that are out to enjoy mother nature. There you go.